Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, episode 17. In our last episode, we finally reached Lo Haru Habu's belly, and uh... So yeah, this dungeon is very short. I might uh, finish it in two episodes. It really depends. Oh, what the hell am I doing? I'm not gonna shoot it down with the ocarina. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. There are only two C buttons that are very hard to uh, press down because they're still in the analog. The other two are in other buttons. That takes a lot of explanation. And I may write it down somewhere, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, <clears throat> I wouldn't worry much about the enemies right now, they're kind of electric, electric enemies, so we're gonna need a special item for that. Hmm, that? Here we get a cutscene. You, who are you? <laughs> I am Ruto, Princess of the Soras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Let her in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me? I don't care. <laughs> anyway, I can go home right now and you get out of here, you understand? <laughs> She's uh she doesn't like me much. Oh no! So we're gonna drop down exactly where she drops down, talk to her. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Habu Habu's belly since I was little, but Lord Habu Habu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was. <laughs> She's like kind of like con uh, she contradicts herself a lot. Now we talk to her again, and uh, she will offer you to. So you can carry her around. Yeah, she's kind of a pain in the butt, but what can we do? So we come over here with her, and you can use her as a weapon actually. Just drop her to the bubbles and blow them up. And don't think those bubbles are friendly, they hurt. <laughs> so I'm gonna use her to eliminate this spider. <laughs> now, um, nah, I'm not gonna kill these guys. You drop her up here, cause if, when I press this switch, water will come up, and if she gets in deep water, she will sum back into the place you found her. And uh, yeah, it'll just take longer. I think there was a fairy in here. Yep. Now we got two fairies. And I think I could make a jump from here. Let me see. Ah! I did it wrong. Yeah, I'm kind of lazy. I'm trying to push this thing again. Yeah. <clears throat> oh! Bubbles hurt. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep going. Oh! Ah! Yeah. And we press the switch in the, in the ceiling. Just throw her up. <clears throat> in we go. There's gonna be a uh, octopus here. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's in that little uh, um, underwater cave. I'm gonna put my bets on a spider token. But since I'm not really uh, sure if the princess will stay here, uh, I'd rather just keep going and, you know, you be the judge. If you're playing the game, you can try it out. Just not uh, drop her in the water, of course. And uh, <clears throat> now we keep going. I could use her as weapons to eliminate the jellyfish, but she might as well drop, um, fall down in a hole. So we go right, and uh, we step on the switch. Now he's gonna stop you in time. <laughs> yeah, everything around kind of like freezes. So we leave her here and we go in. Yeah. 
Now we're gonna have to uh, shoot down some uh, flying fish. Ah! What the hell? Oh boy. I'll get it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, still one more hit. Okay. Let's go. And this is the last one. Die. <laughs> I was standing on the treasure chest. <laughs> wow, haven't seen that in a really long time. I got a boomerang! This is a really useful item, you will get so many things, many uh, spider tokens that are unreachable. You can use it as a weapon and also as um, something that can grab items that are out of reach. Yeah. So, Princess Rudo is gonna be all um, again outside, but this time she's gonna be upstairs, so you don't have to drop down again and get her, she's right there. <clears throat> so she's like, <laughs> blaming you that you left her behind, blah blah blah. Whoop! These jellyfish are everywhere. They hate me. Okay. So now we go left. Seriously, Link's hat must smell like fish <laughs> fish or fish ass <laughs> okay we're gonna be using the boomerang to defeat defeat this enemy it's like a tongue or something like that I don't know I recommend you walk in circles because that thing is really fast and it hits hard so as long as you keep moving it will not hurt you <clears throat> It's there. <laughs> I think this is the first dungeon or only dungeon that gives you the big, um, you know, the the item that you're gonna be using, and then gives you the map and the, the compass. Uh, I s I just can't recall any other that does that right now. We may be learning that later on when we go to other places. So now we go just right around the corner. And now he stops times once again. <laughs> Red slimy thing. I may be posting two episodes today so that we can cover the, the boss battle. Because I don't think I'll make it through this episode. Ugh. God, I hate this two particular C buttons. Let's go again. Oh, there we go. Yeah, my left and um, lower C button is on my right analog stick. And my right and upper C button is the um, circle button in the PlayStation 2 controller. And my upper C button is the triangle button, so yeah. The triangle and circle button are the, uh, the, f the easiest ones for me to push, but when I go to the analog stick, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not using an N64 controller because I try to plug it in and it didn't work. Every, every time I try to walk back, uh, Link walks slowly and the only controller that works is the PlayStation 2 controller. So yeah, what can we do? So we beat another tongue. <clears throat> oh, I even tried a Nintendo GameCube controller, but didn't work as well. But I don't know, it's not that uncomfortable. Well guys, I'm going to be posting a second episode today, 
Uh, thank you for watching. This is Usumachi speaking. And take care.